Imo State Governor Hope Uzodima and uh, top security heads in Imo State are assessing the level of damage at the state correctional center and state police headquarters attacked by unknown gunmen at the early hours of Monday. This followed an emergency security council meeting he held with heads of security agencies in the state. About 50 operational vehicles belonging to the police and Nigeria Correctional Center were also set ablaze during the attack. The lifeless body of a man carrying a bag was seen lying in front of the entrance, entrance gate to the Correctional Center. Spokesman of the Nigeria Correctional Service in Imo State, James Maduba, says the authorities are still trying to get the accurate data of inmates who escaped and the level of devastation. The attackers were said to have gone on rampage around 2 o'clock in the morning, shooting sporadically at the correctional service located along Okigwe Road near Government House, Oweri. The main entrance gate to the Government House was riddled by bullets, while window glasses of a security house close to the gate were shattered. The gunmen who operated in over 10 vehicles also attacked soldiers at Ugoji along Oweri on Icha Expressway, and burnt the operational vehicles of the soldiers. There is an atmosphere of fear in the state following the incident as many are calling on security agents to rise to the emerging security challenges in the area. We can see the extent of the damage so far. We can see our burnt uh, vehicles and uh, things equally affected the building. However, I want to assure you people that at the appropriate time, when we get our facts together, We'll be able to address you on this issue. So please keep always keep in touch. We'll brief you at the appropriate time. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has ordered the immediate deployment of additional units of police mobile force and other police tactical squads to Imo State to strengthen security in the state and prevent further attacks on security formations or any other critical national infrastructure in the state. The directives follow the prison attack in the state today. He said preliminary investigations have revealed that the attackers who came in their numbers with sophisticated weapons such as general purpose machine guns, sub-machine guns, AK-49 rifles, rocket-propelled grenades, and improvised explosive devices are members of the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. He added that the attempt by the attackers to gain access to the police armory at the headquarters was resisted by police operatives on duty who repelled the attackers and prevented them from breaking in and looting the armory. <laughs> 